Imagine for a moment that you could be taught how to heal yourself when you're sick. Now, imagine you could be taught how to heal other people as well, without medicine, without even touching them. Most people would say that's impossible. But there are scores of people here in the Twin Cities who say it is not impossible, it is very real, and it is working for them. They have learned an ancient Chinese art of healing called Qigong. They learned it from a Chinese man who has been teaching Qigong here off and on since 1992. His name is Chunyi Lin. I am in the universe. The universe in my body. The universe and I combined together. It is a concept as ancient as China itself. In fact, even older than that. The concept of a universal energy that flows through literally everything. The Chinese call it qi. The belief is that people get sick, both physically and emotionally, when the qi is blocked and the energy is not flowing freely. Okay, and close your eyes. Just to relax yourself. So using my hand to find out the blockage in the body. Qigong is the art of manipulating that energy through meditation and specific movements. We combine the energy of the healer and the mind, using the mind together, and pass my qi into the patient's body through my hand and help him to clear the blockages in the area so that she can flow easily in that area and uh, the symptom disappear. The area that I was talking to Chung Yi about opening was the area right between my shoulder blades and I had just like this knot there. And after he worked on me, that knot was no longer there. In China, there are literally thousands of different types of Qigong techniques, some very complicated and often kept secret. But after 18 years of study, Chun Yi Lin has revised and simplified the teaching of Qigong to a form he says anyone and everyone can learn. Use your mind to heal the body. Thank you uh, to this uh, universal energy. And he has taught his technique to scores of Minnesotans at Anoka Ramsey College. Char Foss has taken one of his classes. She is also the head of nursing at Anoka Ramsey. I went there to learn about Qigong for healing purposes since I am a nursing instructor. But what I found was that I had some back problems during that time and it was completely gone when I was through. The more you focus and the more energy you will have, especially when you purify your energy and you use this energy for a good purpose, it will be there. Each of Chun Yi Lin's students I've talked with has told me a similar story about being healed and often from very serious medical problems. I had a bleed on my brainstem. The neurosurgeon that I talked to at my clinic was talking about surgery. You never want to operate on the brainstem naturally. I just had a feeling that there was going to be a better way to do this. Or that I That's when a cousin took Sue to be treated by Chun Yi Lin. I went three times and he said the blockage was gone. And her doctors were amazed with the results. Um, they could not believe how quickly the symptoms had subsided. You know, I believe the terms are payable upon receipt. Gretchen Ventura has suffered from migraine headaches for more than 10 years. She says they would hit her about once a month and last as long as a week. And none of the treatments her doctor prescribed was very effective. Four months ago, a friend told her about Qigong, and she became a student of Chun Yi Lin. It has virtually eliminated my headaches. I am currently off all medications. I had been on daily medications for many, many years. I'm taking no medication. I'm practicing Qigong once or twice a day, and I feel fantastic. And you're convinced it's the Qigong? Absolutely. You know that I helped to heal her. I was bleeding. But probably the most dramatic story I've heard from any of yes, Chun Yi Lin's yes, Qigong students yes, yes. is that of Esther Trejo. Qigong. In 1987, Esther contracted a rare lung yes. disease. 
She had to be connected to oxygen 24 hours a day to yeah. survive. When I would switch one empty tank to the other, and that only took like a couple seconds, I'd be gasping for air. I'm honest. Ultimately, Esther's doctor told her the only hope was surgery, a lung transplant. She refused. Then in January of 1993, Esther's son heard about Chu Yi Lin and his class on something called Chinese breathing, or Qigong. She didn't want to go. She was sure it would not work. Well, finally, he convinced me to go, and I went. Uh, I didn't go willingly, believe me. I took a class of Chinese breathing for eight weeks. At the end of the eight weeks, I didn't need all the oxygen that I had been maintaining to, to survive. In just eight weeks? In eight weeks. No medicine? No medicine, just Chinese breathing. This no. Chinese breathing, was that Qigong? Yes, yes, Qigong. So, uh... What did you it, think? <laughs> what did I think? I was walking on air, you know. Walking on air so, and walking without oxygen. And she hasn't needed it now for four years. And more than that, Esther says Qigong not only gave her back her health, it changed her life. I think I was a crabby, can I say the word, crabby SOB? <laughs> you can use the letters. <laughs> You're not now. No, no. And it's through Qigong. You think it could make a difference for me? Oh, it would make a difference for anyone. For anyone. Many people, when they practice this exercise, they experience the calmness and the peace comes come back to their life. So it has a psychological benefit as well as a physical benefit, you're saying? Um, both. Both at the same time. In fact, Chun Yi will tell you the psychological benefit and physical benefit cannot be separated. As even Western medicine is beginning to realize, the mind and the body are indeed one. And perhaps one with the universe. those things you have to experience. In the past 10 years, the Chinese have done a number of studies documenting the successes of Qigong treatment. However, the studies are not the kind that Western science, Western medicine recognize. But that's about to change. Dr. Bob Patterson, who is a professor of biomedical engineering and a medical researcher at the U of M, has asked Chun Yi Lin to work with him in a study of Qigong. And so has Dr. C. Norman Sheely, who is one of the foremost neurosurgeons in the world. For 30 years, Dr. Sheely has been studying what we now call alternative medicine, things like Qigong. And after documenting the successes that Chu Yi Lin has had, Dr. Sheely, too, has asked Mr. Lin to participate in a study of Qigong. And if you'd like to know more about Qigong, here's how you can contact Chu Yi Lin. The Qigong technique he has developed and teaches he calls Spring Forest Qigong. Mr. Lin's number is 422-3329. Really is fascinating. You know he's going to have calls out the woodwork. Uh, that's exactly everybody. what he's hoping. Oh yeah. It, you have to experience it to you start gotta believe, to understand. Uh, believing may come later. I, I didn't walk in a believer, but it's amazing. Okay, this is a great story.